Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with a very, very special installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. Why is it very, very special this week? First, you might think, because it's on time. I'm sometimes last minute, but Rabbi E, you'll say it's hours before Shabbos. Good for you. Don't say that. It's not hours before Shabbos. I'm filming from the land of Israel, seven hours ahead of U.S. time, so it's last minute for me. So even though you'll have hours to savor this message, it's last minute, so I didn't rise to the occasion on that count. And also, it's very, very special because I'm filming it on my phone. Um, And so it might be a little bit shaky or the angle might be strange, although you do get to see the beautiful view of this lovely hotel in the north of Israel in a place called Chispin. Um, I'm here staffing um, or a trip with GW students, BU, Rutgers, and NYU. It's an honor, a privilege, a pleasure to be in this beautiful, beautiful land of Israel. But two strikes against me, I guess you could say. It's still last minute and it's um, a little shaky over here. Aha, but I'm going to tie it into the Torah portion. Because were you to make a comment, a cutting remark about either Rabbi E, I see you're still doing it last minute, huh? Or Rabbi E, can't you learn anything about technology, old guy that you are? (laughs) If you were to say one of those two comments to me, guess what? (laughs) You'd be violating a Torah prohibition in this week's Torah portion of Bahar, the second to last portion in the book of Vayikra Leviticus. Onat devarim, hurting someone, putting them down with our words. That's separate from Lashon Hara, hurtful gossip, which is another prohibition. This is just making someone feel bad by what we say. How often do we do this? I really should say, how often does a minute go by when we don't do this? The Torah wants us to be sensitive to other people, to their feelings. Okay, you know, we, we can admire that and approve of that and applaud that. But really, I think the only way, myself included, to get better at um, not engaging in hurtful speech is to look at the positive and powerful side of speech. Understand that our words mean something. Literally, the mystics say that it creates angels, spiritual energy. The good words, beautiful, beautiful, melodious, harmonious, as it were, angels and the bad words the opposite. We, and if that's too mystical for you, just think of in your own life how damaging words can be and how beautiful they can be, how much they can hurt a person, how much they can lift up a person. The words we say. So if you meet me, say good job, it's Rabbi E. And don't give in to that temptation to say, uh, last minute, Rabbi E again, or, or Rabbi E learned some technology, <laughs> how to use technology. Don't violate Onas Devarim. It's a... It's um, very important, and I'll I'll leave you with that. Well within the three-minute range, though, good for you, Rabbi E. Have a wonderful Shabbos from the Holy Land of Israel. May you feel a little bit of the sanctity of Shabbos, the sanctity of Eretz Yisrael, of the Torah portion, and of our speech. And may may we use it beautifully. Good Shabbos.